Hello everyone, Joel Tadman here from Golf Monthly. And in this video, I'm testing out the three new P-Series irons from TaylorMade. It's a really exciting day today. I've got the TaylorMade P7MB, P7MC, and the P770. Now with these three models coming in, there's some changes to the P-Series range from TaylorMade. We know P stands for players, so these are designed for the better player. So out of the range goes the P730, which was the blade, the P750, the P760, and the P770, the old version, and in come these three models so there's six models in the p-series range so a lot of models to choose from and as i mentioned these three are really designed for the better player and um, we start with the p7mb which is the blade now this is rory mcelroy's new iron in the bag he clearly likes what he's seeing and feeling from this club it's a one-piece forging um, so it's going to feel really soft and uh, what you'll notice with this iron is that the shaping of it is inspired by tour players so rory mcelroy wanted to see less offset in his long irons and taylor made have delivered that with this model dustin johnson wanted to see a longer blade length compared to the p730 so taylor made have incorporated that it's 1.4 millimeters longer blade length than the p730 um, you'll notice the kind of funky shaping here behind this the back of the head um, it's basically designed to kind of reflect light a bit differently to make it look a bit more elegant so uh, in the bag it should look a bit nicer and at address maybe you're seeing uh, a nicer view down behind the ball um, the p7mc is uh, stands for muscle cavity this is a slightly bigger version than the p7mb but not a whole lot it's still designed for the better player unquestionably but it's just going to deliver a little bit more forgiveness compared to the p7mb you see it's got these lovely cosmetic grooves behind the face which i really like um, and it's got um, a slightly wider sole than the p7mb but it's definitely more compact than the outgoing p760 which we saw a lot of players on tour using so very comparable with the old p750 and both of these irons uh, benefit from a new compact forging process that TaylorMade are using so essentially it's a much heavier press that compresses the irons into shape and that compresses the grains a bit tighter should make the irons feel a little bit better and also because the press is a lot heavier it means they're pressed into a much more closer version to the final shape so there's less hand polishing required the geometry is more consistent so uh, hopefully you should really like the look and shape of these irons I certainly do we'll come on to that in a second and then the final version is the P770 so this is much more like the P790, which we know a lot of players like. A whole range of handicap players use the P790. Uh, Taylor made telling us that from you know, uh, plus four handicap, all the way up to 24 handicap golfers are using the P790. But there are some players that like what the P790 offers, so a little bit more speed, more distance, but it looks a bit chunky for them, So especially for the better players. So this is essentially a more compact version of the P790. Uh, it's got the hollow body construction through the set, so right up into the pitching wedge, and there's speed foam in there to, to dampen the vibrations, give you better feel. Um, there's tungsten weighting in there, up to 46 and a half grams of tungsten uh, in the set to deliver the kind of higher launch, more ball speed, more forgiveness. You've got the speed pocket here on the sole as well, just to help those low face contacts. So um, three different irons, um, three different lofts as well. P770, 33 degrees, uh, which is the same as the P760 that's outgoing. P7MC, 34 degrees, P7MB, 35 degrees. So they're fairly traditional in lofts. I'm excited to test them out. We've got the range for myself here at West Hill Golf Club. And we're also testing them at Foresight Sports HQ to get some uh, GC quad data. So I'll share that with you in a second. So let's give them a test, hit them on the range, see how they feel, see how they perform. Right, so I've given all three of these irons a thorough test, uh, both at Foresight and on the range here at West Hill to observe ball flights and things like that. And as a P760 user, yeah, I've used them for a number of years. I was custom fitted when they launched a couple of years ago. So I'm very familiar with how they perform. It was really interesting for me to see how these three irons compared because there's a bit of P760, I'd say, in all of these irons, definitely the MC and the uh, P770. So you're yeah, starting with uh, the P770. Yeah, this is definitely giving me uh, a bit more speed you know look at the launch monitor data and i'll flash it up on the screen now so you can see how this is definitely obviously giving me a little bit more speed because it is slightly stronger in loft you know one degree stronger than the p7 mc so more ball speed but also testing it here on the range it gives me a noticeably higher ball flight than the other models so um, that's interesting because it is 
a slightly stronger loft. That tungsten weight is helping increase the launch angle, giving me a higher ball flight, a shallower descent angle into the greens. Well, slightly lower spinning, but nothing to be overly concerned about. I like the look of it. You know, there is a hint of offset there compared to uh, the other models. But what I would say at address is that you know, this is definitely an iron I could play potentially in the long irons of comboing the set with other models. You know, in the 4 5 iron, this would be a lot nice and playable for me. Uh, so, really impressed with that. Moving into the P7MC. Now, this comes in at 34 degrees, and my P760 irons are actually bent uh, one degree weaker. So, my 7 iron is also 34 degrees. And you'll see from the numbers that the numbers are basically exactly the same with the P7MC compared to my P760. All I would say is P7MC does give me a slightly softer fear, which I really like. Didn't really feel like I was losing out on a whole lot of forgiveness. Maybe the P760 is a touch more stable, but I still felt like this P7MC is one of the most playable muscle cavity irons I've tested in recent years. There was definitely some help on those off-center hits, and I like the slightly more compact look behind the ball compared to P760. Your average carry, 165 yards, exactly where I want to be with a 7-iron, really nice ball flight, not too high, uh, not too spinny, around about that 6,200 RPM, so this isn't a low spinning club, but it's giving me really good uh, control and a little bit of workability as well. So, you know, a mix of everything I'd say from this TaylorMade P7MC. Uh, and then compared to the P7MB, definitely, obviously, slightly weaker in loft, not quite as forgiving as the MC, so not getting quite as much distance with this, 163 yards. Um, but what I really like about this club is the feel. It feels absolutely fantastic, really soft, buttery off the face. And actually, compared to all the blades I've tested in recent times, this one doesn't feel as harsh uh, on offset hits as I was expecting it to. You know, blades, you often experience, you know, those slight heel toe strikes. You get that kind of twisting in your hands. It just feels a little bit harder and a bit harsher. But I didn't really get that as much with this side as I was expecting. So definitely, TaylorMade have incorporated um, some decent levels of forgiveness here. You look at the meat behind the face there, definitely feels like there's some oomph behind the face impact compared to most blades. You know, obviously the feel gets progressively hotter through the three different models, um, but all of them perform pretty similarly and actually all of them look similar as well. They've got the same finish on them, so there's definitely scope to mix and match models within the set and you could even conceivably have all three models within the same set. So you could potentially go the MBs in the short irons, the MCs in the mid irons and the P770s in the long irons. All in all, really, really impressed with what TaylorMade have done here with these irons. The look of them is absolutely fantastic. They look absolutely stunning and they perform exactly how you would expect. They're consistent, they feel great. There's some key differences there in terms of the distance and the feel as well, and the looks. You know, P770 is definitely an iron, I think, the P790 player, maybe the low handicapper who wants a bit more distance, there's a big difference in lofts between P770 and P790. The one thing I didn't like about P790, lofted at 30.5 degrees in the 79, it just went a bit too far for me. It's going to create gapping issues in the wedge end of the bag, and I'm sure a lot of golfers experience that. But with this coming in much more traditional in loft, 33 degrees, you're not going to see those big jumps in distance, and it should help your gapping out as a better player. So as a P760 user, you're probably wondering what would I be transitioning to in the new models? And to be honest, the answer is probably a full set of the MCs. Uh, for the reason that I love that slightly more compact look, and I've always felt with my P760s that the long irons being quite hollow, they're significantly hotter than the short irons. And I feel like the P7 MCs, if I went for a full set, they would be a bit more consistent in terms of that feel, and maybe the distance gapping through the set would be a bit more even. So uh, P7 MC, I've got to say, is probably one of the best looking irons in recent times. You know, For that low single figure golfer like myself, five handicapper, you know, it really does tickle the boxes. And what I love about the sole geometry of this club is that it's got a lot of camber on it compared to the P7 MB. So the P7 MB has got a quite a flat sole to it, so it kind of digs into the ground a little bit too much where I feel like the P7MC and the P770 both kind of glide through the turf a little bit more easily. So that's just another box ticked for me with that P7MC. It's still quite narrow, um, but just gives me a little bit more forgiveness through the turf. Slightly shallower divots, just felt like it was a bit quicker uh, through the ground. So uh, P7MC for me ticks all the boxes. Definitely going to be on at TaylorMade to get me a full set of those. Um, but all three of these irons, you know, conceivably could go in your bag. They're absolutely fantastic. Definitely some scope to combo the different models 
within the set. All three of these iron sets come in just under 1300 pounds. So there is some consistency there with the three models. And if you're looking to mix and match them, there won't be any changes in the price. So that's going to encourage you to do that, to get the best performance for your game in the different areas of the bag. And I think TaylorMade have done a really great job with all three of these irons. And I'm not surprised to see Tor players immediately transitioning into them because they are absolutely fantastic. No real weak points, to be honest with you, certainly in terms of the cosmetics. And the performance was really, really solid as well. So hope you enjoyed this review of the, the three TaylorMade P-Series irons. Um, make sure you hit the comments below. Tell me what you think, which iron are you most excited to try? Um, I'd love to hear from you. But for now, from a very sunny West Hill Golf Club, it's goodbye from me. I'll see you next time.